I've unfortunately just come to my first dilemma since I've been in Europe. Tomorrow they have forecast very severe strong winds. Now the, the path is just way too icy. I just drove down this mountain in snow, ice, fog, everything. It was yeah, really crazy. We'll have another five hours of driving left to go, so I've still got quite a way. So as you've probably noticed, even though this video is titled Iceland, I'm currently in Milan and that's because I took an 8 hour bus from Villach in Austria and I came here to get my flight tomorrow to Iceland. So I'll be leaving tomorrow at around midday to get to the airport and my flight is at around half past two. I'm due to land in Keflavik at about 5 p.m. and I'm really looking forward to showing you guys this journey that I'm going to be taking. It's going to be a crazy nine days of exploring Iceland. So just keep watching and you'll find out. Hey everyone, so it's official. I have made it to Iceland. I'm just at Keflavik. I'm just on my way now to go and get my rental car and then I will be driving to my first destination, my first accommodation, which is about a two hour drive. So I'm looking forward to showing you guys all the content I get on this trip. 
It's going to be a long nine day trip. Just picked up my car. I'm now currently sitting in it here. And I've unfortunately just come to my first dilemma since I've been in Europe. So I've just found out that tomorrow they have forecast very severe strong winds, almost like hurricane force winds. And the road that I'm gonna be driving is gonna be closed most likely for that day. I'm now gonna to have to slightly change my plans for my accommodation. Um, so when I get to my first place tonight, I'm gonna make some adjustments and hopefully get things sorted, but I'll keep you guys posted. I'm also now about to drive on the other side of the road for the first time. I've never driven on the right side of the road before. I've always driven on the wrong side or the left. So we'll see how the drive goes. In about two hours, I should be at my accommodation. So tomorrow might just have to be a day of catching up on things on my laptop. So I've just been driving for around two hours and I've just made it to my accommodation. I'm probably gonna get an early night tonight and try and figure out what best to do tomorrow for accommodation uh, due to the storm. So the main thing is that I've made it to my first place. So far, I have no idea what it looks like around the area because it gets dark earlier now because of the time of year. Uh, but I'm really looking forward to checking out more tomorrow. So good night. managed to get my accommodation sorted for tonight. I'm going to be staying here again for one more night. And as you can hear, the winds have started to come up. It's nice to see that I've got some good weather today though, eventually. And uh, I'm gonna get some photos and then I'm gonna get some rest. So just an update, I left my accommodation at around 6.30 this morning. I'm about 45 minutes into my drive. I'm here with the hire car. Uh, just gonna take a couple of photos in the area and then we're gonna keep driving north towards Akareri and Eglistadir. So that's our final destination today. It's gonna be a long six and a half hour drive, but eventually we're gonna get there. Just made yet another stop on my way around the north. I keep stopping all the time because there's just so much amazing scenery around, it's hard not to. But 
but I still have another five hours of driving left to go, so I've still got quite a way. And I've got lots more stops that I want to make on the way, so we're going to see how much we can see. I'm going to carry on driving now and hopefully be there by late afternoon. I just made another stop. I've still got a long way to go, but I keep getting distracted by all these amazing views. So I'm currently here. So you can kind of see why I keep stopping. And behind me there's some kind of monument, which I'm gonna read about in a minute. I saw a sign back there, but skip the sign to see the views. <laughs> to show all of you this because this is probably the most perfect scene I've seen. Perfect scene I've seen. You probably can't see me very well, but 13 and a half hours later, I've just made it to my accommodation. There is a full moon and I'm just about to head to my car to get my things and bring them inside. It 
it's a very nice start to the day. Not long I've been awake and I'm just packing my car at the moment and got the most amazing sunrise. Uh, and I just realized as well in my car, I bought some bananas and I've left them and I don't know if you can see, but they've gone orange because they're frozen. So I've now got frozen bananas. They're really, really cold. So yeah, I left them in the car overnight. It was about minus six last night. So it kind of explains it. Uh, so now I'm about to head south in the direction of Hoffen. Hoffen's my next stop for tonight. So I'll be making my way there and hopefully arriving in good time because it's a shorter drive today. I've just made it to my first stop for today. It's a waterfall called Hengifoss and it takes around an hour's walking to get there. So as you can see behind me there is the start of the waterfall and then I'll be walking all the way up to the top. literally so icy it got to a certain point and then obviously you're in the snow but the snow is like solid ice no the the path is just way too icy people are going up there but no nah, my my footwear I thought they'd be good, but they're not. I'm just gonna fly the drone up there instead, it's easier. <laughs> yeah, uh, at least I can see it with the drone. It's way too icy, so you could skate on it. It is that bad. Just drove down this mountain in snow, ice, fog, everything. It was yeah, really crazy. So I'm just taking a couple of minutes breather <laughs> and then I'm gonna keep going. But yeah, it was a pretty crazy experience.
as you can probably see, I made it to my accommodation in Hoffen and I'm here for the one night and tomorrow I will be heading further south towards Vic. So Vic is my next stop. So there's going to be lots of incredible sights down that way. And actually I went to Vic in 2019. The last time I came to Iceland, I did the Golden Circle tour and the South Coast of Iceland tour. I also tried to get the Northern Lights when I was last here, but didn't succeed. But this time I have, which I'm very happy about. But I will catch you all tomorrow when I start my journey towards Vic. I've just not long been awake. Now just packing the car and I'm about to head south towards Vic. So today is gonna be doing the majority of the South Coast. I'm very excited to be doing this because I've only ever seen up until Vic when I was here in 2019. So it's gonna be really great to see the rest of the South Coast. So let's get started. all the icebergs in the water. So I found a really cool spot that's not windy, it's not busy with people, and you've got a really good view of the glaciers. So I'll just show you now. That's the view there. literally so much here to see. You've got glaciers, waterfalls, mountains. You do have to pay to park here, it's around 600 ISK. So in euros, I think that's around five euros. So it's not too bad.
it's been a very awesome day. I've just been exploring the Fiatga Lufia Canyon? The Canyon. We'll go with that. And I caught it just as the sun was going down. So I've got some really nice photos from that as well. I'm now just heading back to the car and I'm now gonna head straight back to Vic. Probably do another couple of stops on the way, no doubt. And then I'm gonna try and get some rest ready for tomorrow. Because tomorrow I'm gonna be heading out very early again to do the last section of the south coast of Iceland. Just made it to my final stop around the island before I head to Reykjavik to a hotel for a few nights. It's in such a great location. Over there behind me is Reynesvara Beach, which is very famous for its cliffs, for those of you that don't know it. Now I'm just gonna unpack my bags and then I'm gonna head back towards Vik, which is the nearest town to where I'm staying. I'm gonna get myself some food and then I'm gonna head back and just relax for the rest of the evening before waking up tomorrow to go out for a sunrise at Rainers for our beach. Good morning everyone, so it's 7am and I'm just about to start driving back on myself a little bit to go back to Reynasvara Beach and Vic. I'm going to stop there for a little while, hopefully get some nice shots for sunrise. Uh, the weather conditions today are brilliant and, and at the moment there is no wind so that's really good. Uh, I've just arrived at my first destination of the morning. I'm just walking down to Rainisfara Beach now and I'm very excited to show you all this because there is a lovely sunrise this morning and this is definitely one of my favorite places from my previous trip here. So very excited to show you why it's one of my favorites. successful shoot and, and it's as expected there is thousands of photographers here on the beach doing the exact same thing so I think I've got some good shots though I came here nice and early so I'm looking forward to going through them later. Last time I was here at this church it was absolutely covered in snow and it was really dark skies it looks completely different now I'm actually going to leave a photo showing what it looked like when I was there in 2019 right now. So now I'm going to get some more photos and this time use the drone to get some photos of this church. I'm really excited to be getting some content here. Uh, it really does bring back some good memories from my travels in 2019.
I've just made it to what I think is going to be the last stop on my trip. I'm now at Sealanfoss, which is another epic waterfall. I'm not sure if there was anywhere free to park in the area, but I parked in the main car park. And just for reference, it was 700 ISK. Just bear that in mind if you're driving to some of the places in the national parks that you will have to pay a fee unless you can find somewhere to park for free. I've just arrived in Reykjavik and I'm at my hotel and I've got my card for my room. So now I'm gonna go and get something for dinner and then I'm gonna go up to my room, check it out and then just have a bit more of a relaxing evening and start again tomorrow. I've just spent the morning doing some photography for the Viking Village Hotel and now I'm about to get into my car and head into the city for a little while, do a little bit of exploring.
it's currently 6.30 and it's my last day in Iceland. So I'm going to head out and do the Golden Circle route. So it consists of a waterfall called Golfoss. There's a crater called Kerid Crater and there's also the geyser. And there might be a couple of other things that I see on the way and stop at. So stay tuned for that. I'm very excited to be going there for the second time. When I went there in 2019, it was completely covered in snow. It was absolutely freezing, but it was still very beautiful, but I'm looking forward to seeing it now when it's a little bit more green uh, and hopefully with a nice sunrise because there's currently clear skies at the moment. second to last stop at the Kerry Crater. After here I'll be going to the Thingvillia National Park. exciting and adventurous trip so far and I'm hoping to do more going forward as well. I'm looking forward to showing you where I'm going next week. Uh, it's not going to be in Europe so it's going to be the first time I've ever actually left Europe so definitely stay tuned for that. Take care and speak to you all soon.